You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Salah to settle it! In front of the COP! AGT here with Julian from AFTV. Um, listen, you've got your signed shirt. You were here in 89 when it was a massive win for Arsenal. It's going 2 0 up. How do you, I mean, I'll give you the Liverpool fans' perspective after, but going up 2 0, are you disappointed you didn't win the game? Because I'll have my own answer as well. Okay, so first thing is, I do have my replica 89 top on, and underneath I have my original, which. I think if, you've shown me this. Yeah, if I, if I breathe in and hold it, it still fits just about. Just about. And that's yeah. the shirt I did wear that night. Okay, well, fair play to you, man. I yeah. respect it. That was a long time ago. But yeah, well, it doesn't seem that long to me. No, of course not. You've had a very entertaining life, mate. I have had a very entertaining <laughs> life. Time life. flies when you're having fun. It, it does, and it's still entertaining. And today was a re really good game. But to answer your question, am I disappointed? Um, only when you go 2-0 up. If I look at it from that perspective, then of course I'm disappointed because I thought we, obviously we had, in my view, we had the game in the bag. The, the, the crowd was quiet. I think tactically we had the better of things. Everything was going our way. We were controlling the game. Maybe we didn't have all the possession, but I don't remember Liverpool really attacking like, the like they did. Half in, in an the hour, first half. but I have to say, I'm quite happy as well, knowing that we're playing the best team in the league today and we were the better team for 60 minutes. I think that Xhaka and Trent thing ignited everyone up, as I said. And after that, if that game went on five minutes more, I'm sure we would have scored the winner. Sure we would have. I'm not so sure, because what was happening... What a shock. You, no, no, I'm not so sure. Was it a fair result? I would say yes. Did Liverpool, could Liverpool edge it? And this is me being totally unbiased. No, of course they didn't. No, but you know that we could have edged it. We, the way we were playing, you were lucky, lucky to hold on there at 2-2, I think, right at the end. Julian, we missed a penalty. That should be a goal any, any day of the week. Nunes was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Salah had one saved around the post by Ramsdale. Canate, one off the line, off his chest. That's four golden chances. Yeah, and then Saka charging through the midfield right at the end in injury time. It could have gone our way. Look, it was a bit sort of tongue. It was a sort a bit of tongue in cheek there. Yes, Liverpool did edge that game. There is no doubt. For 60 minutes, Liverpool were the better team. So coming back to your original question, am I disappointed after the first half an hour to be two 0 up and then draw the game two all? Absolutely. But the other flip side to it is, and I've been talking about this for quite a quite some days I cannot get my head round how Liverpool can be so good at Anfield the record at Anfield is, I can't even is, is, is unreal and the away record is pretty awful yeah, is. And, and what is it the pitches are exactly the same it's the crowd you it's heard you know when Bobby scored his goal yeah. did you hear the atmosphere Bobby Firmino that was one of the best atmospheres I've seen at Anfield I know it was a short three or four minute moment but that was incredible. It's that's what gets us over the line nine times out of ten. Yeah, it does. It. I mean, I get criticised for this opinion on AFTV, but Anfield for me. I know I've had my, you know, the greatest moment of my life here. But Anfield for me is the greatest football stadium in the world, wow. bar none. Wow. And, I, and wow. but, yes, but that, Julian. That isn't me just trying to creep up to you no, guys. No, you've had a great night here you as know well. that I have been around the world. I have seen football everywhere in the world. And this place is special. It's absolutely special. The, 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 the team actually hasn't always been special when I've been here. You know, for, for 20 odd years after 89, we killed you guys off in 89. Yes, you came and won the league the year after, but something was lost after that. You know, something was taken away. The invincibility, we talk about Arsenal being the invincibles, but Liverpool were pretty invincible for two decades. I mean, I came up here first in 88 and we lost here 2-0. And we were happy. We were happy to only come away with a 2-0 loss because this place was impenetrable. No one came here to win. People don't actually realise how good that Liverpool, that Liverpool team were. And the atmosphere here, even though the teams haven't always lived up to what I witnessed here in the 80s and before even I went to football in the 70s the atmosphere even throughout the lowest points at, of Liverpool's footballing history has always been immense and coming to this stadium it just it, it's just wonderful and I love that Julian listen from all of us at the COP TV and Liverpool fans go and win the league now
because well done mate you've really done an amazing little speech there and it's warmed me up I've almost got teary at that but Julian listen good luck for the rest of the season and get home safe take care thanks for watching this video guys I hope you enjoyed it please guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the cop tv the voice of, of football's, football's most, most famous, famous stand, stand.